Heavy duty lineup is updated, there is a new engine under the hood, but the 2025 Silverado 2500 will face another challenge. Or maybe two. Both Ford and Ram are expected to launch new engines, more capable than ever. And how will Chevrolet and GM respond? Let's find out in the video. New Engines General Motors relatively recently introduced a new petrol engine, a 6.6-liter that delivers 401 horsepower and 464 pound-feet of torque. Yes, truckers are keener on diesel units, but this move by GM made Ford do the same. Two new petrol drivetrains were added, Godzilla and Minizilla. But that's not it. According to Car and Driver, the next step is to develop a hybrid powertrain for the Super Duty lineup. On the other hand, Ram's heavy-duty trucks continue to rely on the outdated Hemi engine. The Fast Lane Trucks reports about the new Cummins petrol engine as the replacement. Mary Barra hasn't made any bold moves yet. It's a waiting game, with both Ford and Ram also holding off on making their decisions official. Diesel Capabilities the 6.6-liter Duramax is enhanced and now delivers 470 horsepower and 975 pound-feet of torque. But that is not enough, since the rivals we mentioned are a step ahead, especially Ford Super Duty with 1,200 pound-feet and 40,000 pounds of towing capacity. 36,000 on the Silverado 3500 is not a bad figure as well, but in this battle of big rigs every detail counts. General Motors got a boost from a new Allison transmission, but nothing lasts forever. Ram already has the new ZF Powerline gearbox for the new diesel engine. There is no time to waste. The Silverado 2500 can tow up to 22,500 pounds, while the real battle is between Series 3 trucks, where the Chevy is trailing. That has to be improved after 2025. Best way to tackle off-road challenges There are tons of available setups for the new Silverado 2500, but none is as exciting as the trail boss. The new package is equipped with advanced options, but also requires a few upgrades before you are eligible to select this one for nearly $4,000. Convenience and Z71 add the best features. Although nicely packed, the Trail Boss is not as capable as the ZR2. The off-road oriented beast is using advanced suspension setup, plus the two-speed transfer case, and of course, four-wheel drive. Durabed is more resistant, and HD surround vision provides more angles to view areas around the truck. Updated color palette. Chevy is keeping the Silverado 2500 fresh with a mix of classic and vibrant paint jobs. This year, the truck will feature eight striking colors, with seven being carried over from the previous model. These include fan favorites like the Lakeshore Blue Metallic, the Fiery Red Hot, the Timeless Black, and the Clean Summit White. Sterling Gray Metallic remains a solid choice for those seeking a sophisticated look, while the Premium Hues, Radiant Red Tint Coat and Iridescent Pearl Tricoat, offer that extra touch of luxury. The big news for 2025 is the introduction of Cypress Gray, which replaces the Slate Gray Metallic. The new color brings a subtle yet modern twist, offering a slightly richer tone that enhances the truck's refined appearance. How to choose best configuration Even if you have a preferred model, you will have a lot of fun time building the perfect Silverado HD. Regular, double, and crew cab are available with standard or long bed. Then there are six trim levels with different goodies. $47,295 is the base price for the WT model with regular cab and long bed. Crew cab is the most popular choice, and such configuration is starting from $50,795. You must add $2,800 for the four-wheel drive. The Trail Boss is an optional package, available only for the LT and LTZ grades. Above the ZR2 is the premium high country with the best options General Motors can offer. When you start piling up features, such as Duramax Diesel, the price exceeds $90,000 pretty quickly. While this year's updates are notable, the most significant transformations in Chevy's heavy-duty lineup are still on the horizon. The changes for 2025 feel more like a prelude than a full-scale overhaul, particularly when it comes to what's under the hood.